There's a few years ago, I think, that Inglenook had a year of the bubble. Rob was telling me about it, and uh, I guess people felt as though Inglenook was was a, a safe a safe enough place that that um, you know they were kind of sheltered and 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 but in a good way, and um, yeah. So I guess they came up with the theme bubble, which I think is really cool. <laughs> So close when the sun went to sleep When darkness fell off, the rings were hot to keep Our clothes ended in tingles and a heap Our bodies mingled high in a heap oh, 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 oh. The nights were cold but we didn't care As we went up and down goosebumps I came to Inglenook because um, I wanted a sense of community. I wanted a school where I could feel safe and I could feel like I was supported and the teachers and the students cared. I was not doing too well in my classes. I think maybe getting 60s, uh, like, you know, maybe 70s in some courses. Um, I guess, I don't know, I came to Inglenook and I really started kind of expressing myself more verbally, artistically. I have to admit I was surprised at how polite and non-aggressive people were. I came to Inglenook because I felt unsafe. I didn't like people's attitudes towards uh, queer people and queer culture and I thought that, that Inglenook, I mean, you know, you look around the, the rooms and there's like, in this room alone there's like two P flags and like I thought that that was... It, it was a lot more welcoming. I was a block away from the school and I could barely get up to go because I had absolutely no motivation. It was an insanely conservative school and I came out there um, as like a gay man and it was not well received. I could go to the neighborhood high school or I could go an hour and a half away and clearly I wanted to, I think it's important to go an hour and a half away so I can actually do something with my time, not just sit in a class and not be productive. So that is why I chose Inglenook. <laughs> in order to not be bullied or picked on or having to fight every day because of what, you know, who I was or, you know, what I like. And, you know, there was a front that had to be, you know, a guard that had to be put up. And so I feel like coming here, even though it took time to, um, let that guard down, it was definitely clear to me that from the jump that the guard didn't need to be up. Coming here, it was even better than I could have imagined and it was just the right environment for me and I've done extremely well here and I have a very high average now. Something I didn't think I could possibly accomplish at uh, the school I was at prior. I think Outreach is the one of the most important programs that Inglenook offers and is in definitely in, in jeopardy of, of uh, not existing if, if they get rid of one teacher. Outreach especially has it's opened my mind up to things that I'm interested in and that I want to do outside of school and after high school. Outreach allowed me to have four different placements in four new places that I had never worked in before and really reach out to the community. Outreach is pretty much guided me to what I want to do with the rest of my life. I've I worked with um, the Furniture Bank and it taught me the importance of a home and how incredibly, how incredibly important it is to have a place to feel safe. All of the courses that I've probably ever taken here have given me something I didn't expect and given me a perspective on life that actually I also couldn't have possibly have imagined. My, my grades have gone so high I didn't even think I was going to go to college and I'm, now I'm going to university which is great. Um, yeah. I got like scholarships which I never thought I would get. So yeah, I've changed a lot. I've made so many more friends. Everyone will all of my family was so happy when I started going back to school and making friends and the teachers have really been a lot of help. They really do a lot of individual support for each student. I come to Inglenook when I have classes. Unless I'm sick, I'm here. I'm happier. Um, I'm a lot happier here than I was before. I have the sense that, you know, people care about me. I have a sense that I'm respected here. And personally, I just feel a lot more open and easy to express myself. 
I've gotten my stuff, I'm trying to get my stuff back together and it's, I don't think I could have done it without the teachers and the people at this school. A lot more motivated to do work, a lot more motivated to come to school and uh, definitely, you know, happier. I've learned a lot about like society, a lot about, you know, like the real, kind of like we get, they get to the real truths and they're pretty blunt and honest about things and, you know, um, as much as this is a really safe kind of sanctuary place where you don't feel like you can get hurt, they really, I feel like they do tell you what's out there and that, you know, there are going to be a lot of hurtful things out there, but how can we use our, our own humor and our own education that we learn here to kind of fight it? We got to focus on homosexuals and the Holocaust, which is not ever touched on in mainstream schools. The only reason the courses are great and work here is because the teachers put a lot of themselves into it. You know, they're very unique courses and very unique people run them. The life experiences that the teachers have bring a different life experience and like a different like mentality to what each different course that they're teaching. The drama with Wendy has been, was so much fun. I took it twice in a row. Uh, I, the, one of the most amazing experiences we had was working on Alice in Wonderland, the play. Burn and ban literature. It's yes. an English course, and it's also you're learning specific um, literature, which is really interesting because you're not just um, you know learning what everybody else is learning in every other school. You're learning something different. You're actually becoming more cultured and more knowledgeable, which is really important. I don't really think I had like an understanding of uh, of what the world was like. Like I wasn't really sure what like feminism was or patriarchy was or, or all of these things were and like when you come here it, it opens you to more of a reality of the world than than a lot of other mainstream school do. I don't feel stupid, I feel smart. I think Inglenook brings out the best in people. I think the one that has really impacted me the most is the one I'm taking right now which is queer studies. Um, I wasn't really sure coming into it if I was going to like it or not uh, just because I didn't know what the real basis of it was. And it's more than just learning about gay culture and homophobia, but it's all about like kind of learning about love and the understanding and acceptance of everyone around you. And I feel like that class itself is kind of like a family almost, the way we kind of interact. Uh, my first high school where I came out and I literally had to walk outside to get to my next classes to different doors because walking through the hallways wasn't possible. You got like, you, like names would just be called constantly. I, I couldn't do it. Um, to, to coming to a school that's offering queer studies is just like, what? Like, I wish I could have had that so much earlier on because I think it could have prevented so much that I had to go through. I think it would change drastically. Like, I've been here for three years and to imagine one less teacher is really difficult for me. Losing one of our teachers, it's like, it's like taking away someone's hand. You're taking away a lot of the courses that help make Inglenook so unique. And it's really just feels like it's a sign that they're trying to slowly get rid of like the alternative schools. Each teacher has their own strength and like has their own like course load that like makes the school what it is. And by like taking away a teacher, you're taking away a certain amount of courses. That already kind of eliminates a lot of the aspects of Inglenook that you know, make us an individual school. I think it's going to be devastating because especially the teacher that they are removing brings so much to the school. I, I don't know if we can have all the extracurricular activities that we do have now. I don't know if we'll have um, enough, you know, counseling time. If you think about it, it's one-sixth of our entire staff, which means we take down so many things that we can have. There's less supervision for trips. There's less um, people to stay after school with, you know, helping with work and stuff and even things like when we have like our talent nights, like coffee house and stuff, there's less people to be there as supervision and those are the things that make our school so unique and so much fun and kind of make us all stronger as a community. Teachers here, like kids like respect and like they're clearly valued teachers and like you're getting good results, like the kids aren't failing and like the kids are graduating and you look at a bigger high school and like how many kids are graduating and how many teachers are doing anything about it and really care. We only have six teachers as it is and it's definitely hard to imagine like six teachers running one school. Our, our teachers are human, right? They can't do everything by themselves, so, and we don't even have a principal on site, so that makes a huge difference, so cutting one teacher is just too much. If you take this away, then 
it's gonna really throw all of this out of balance. And for people like me, who have had trouble learning, have a learning disability, and who are now doing as well as they are, it's only because of that beautiful structure that we have. It's taking away part of education that I don't want to see go away. There are the kids who do fit into mainstream schools and they can succeed from that, but there's the kids who just can't do that. I think that they should reconsider their decision and maybe actually visit some alternative schools before they make a permanent decision. How would I define community? Uh, it's such a difficult question. I do all the interviews and that's the question in, in the interviews and I've heard so many of them that it is hard to say what it is. Community is just people working together, respecting each other, uh, yeah, working together, and here it's definitely amongst the students and teachers. Uh, everyone respects everyone, and it's just a really comfortable environment. I don't care about that person because it, it benefits me. I care about that person because they're a good person, and, and they've been good to me, and I, and I care about what happens while I'm in their life, what happens after I'm in their life, what happens for the rest of their life. Uh, a place where everyone feels welcome. That's it. That's Inglema. You only give me her to sing about. 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 It takes all that I have not to go back to you. It takes all that I have not to go back to you. It takes all that I have not to go back to you. I'm not too good back to you